on. Okay. Welcome students. In this example, we are going to explain how we print this kind of asterisk pattern. Right? What's the logic behind this? Right? Actually, this part will important for practicing to identify the logic behind this. Right? Okay. This is my last example. I want to create a new class. I think example 3. Class public. It will not affect for this time, right? So we use one method pattern print right within this method we always create void type method right the reason is I don't want to create uh, return anything that's the reason right otherwise we can create any kind of methods but in this time also I use void type right I make one for loop this for loop we know now we know our program run top to bottom right not only C sharp the many other programming language also same program run top to bottom top to bottom is the way your program created right that mean top to bottom will execute this way Actually, this inner for loop control how many lines. This way, right? How many lines? How many lines you want to print? Actually, we use 20. Uh, we can use 0 to 20 or 1 to plus than or equal 20. Both will save, right? Then next example, this time we need two for loops inside this for loop. Reason is the first for loop create what? Create spaces, right? Create spaces and second for loop create asterisks, right? Want to identify this. First for loop create spaces and spaces the first part spaces has higher number then decrease the amount right space size is decrementing this time no spaces O1 space right but your asterisk always incrementing start from 1 to increment right for that I use two for loops change j to one more for loop right you can use same j j okay right in first for loop actually this for loop i want to print spaces right that for loop start 20 for loops then 19 18 in last part it will zero spaces right spaces are decrementing that mean first start 20 greater than i then j minus minus this example i explain this logic i take from previous lesson right first check this i is 0 i 0 is less than or equal to 20 yes that is true then comes to this part this part mean after this line check it execute whatever content inside this for loop right it has two more for loops right? both will execute pair concurrently right? Right. then then now j is 20 j is greater than i 20 is greater than 0 yes that is true now j is 
then printing printing the content console dot write we want to print some asterisk with space right okay this for loop will handle ui space and this for loop need to print your asterisk right actually this is asterisk count will increment I same way not this part you don't need to print asterisk just only spaces after one line execute mean that first line is spaces and asterisk print comes to next line right that mean we need console dot write line console dot right line need to start next lesson next line from new line right okay now create object from this class i use same one and object name dot remove this pattern print method right, right. now you can check your example you need to debug right without debugging you can't identify how this work right? okay let's move into debug part right put one debug point here or here start your program right will hit right now first initialize i is 1 then check I is 0, 0 is less than or 20. Right? Only this condition, these two part check and comes to this part. F10, use F10. Right? After 20 times it will run. Mean 20 spaces will print, right? Don't worry, make if you use 2, 3, you can easily identify that then comes to after 20 spaces print mean this execution is over you can check this what is your result right one is printed you can see second line print third line print fourth line print that way remove debug point and first you need to identify the logic behind this that is the important part most important part right not only c sharp if you are practicing with any language this not depend on programming language right the logic is always same the language will different right it has inner for loop right inner for loop can control how many lines you want right that mean we need 20 lines 20 lines mean 20 iterations we need within that iteration i use two for loops right first for loop for space printing second for loop for asterisk printing space printing first time it it should print 20 spaces and one asterisk right second time it's 19 it it, it, sh it should print 19 spaces and two asterisk sign right that way right i think you get the logic behind this right important actually this is important right? okay that's it for this lesson let's move into next Listen.